January 27th here in Southern California. January 27, 2020. Kobe Bryant is not with us. How sad is that? Oh man, Kobe Bryant. Eight other people on the plane. There were, there were three families on board. The pilot's family, he had a daughter. Kobe, he had a daughter. Orange Coast College baseball coach. Orange Coast College, the baseball coach. He had his family with him. Three young girls on board. Man, life is so precious. Sometimes life is just so fragile. You just, you just never know what's going to happen. You have to do everything you can to enjoy life, to thank the people who are around you at all times, the people who help help you travel, navigate through life. You have to thank them, you have to tell them you love them while they're still here. Man, I admired Kobe Bryant for, for, more, than, for more than two decades. He was with me when I was, um, going through high school he was with me when I was going through college after college you know I would randomly look him up on Google to see what he was doing what his activities were his words were always motivating now while I didn't while I didn't know Kobe Bryant personally he had a great impact on my life and the world the world is mourning a true legend. Someone who impacted other people's lives for the greater good. And the one thing about a tragedy is it brings people together. And the bigger the tragedy, the more united people are. So that's the one silver lining and I'm sure Kobe Bryant would want us to move forward because that's, that's all you can do in life. Like when something so tragic happens, right? No matter what, no matter what, that sun is going to go up. It's going to go down. No matter what happens in your life, right? Everyone is going to be affected by negativity by negative events in their life. And it's how you respond, it's how you get up when these tragic things happen in life. Because seriously, no matter what, that sun is gonna sunrise, it's gonna sunset no matter what happens. It's so sad that Kobe Bryant died along with those eight other passengers on the helicopter. It is, it is tragic. Um, Everyone's trying to make sense of it, of what happened, why, why it happened, and it's understandable to be in shock. But just remember, no matter what happens in your life, the sun will set and the sun will rise. And you just have to keep marching through, keep marching through, keep moving forward. And I, I'm certain that that's what Kobe Bryant would have wanted, right? If you just look at how he lived his life, what he preached in his life, um, there were eight scheduled basketball games when he, the day of his death and none of them were canceled and I'm sure that's what Kobe Bryant would have wanted. So here's to remembering a true legend of the game and not just of basketball, but of how to live your life. He had great life lessons and my thoughts and prayers are with his family. On my birthday, today's my birthday, January 27th is my birthday and my thoughts are with Kobe Bryant um, the day after he died on that tragic helicopter ride. All right, love you guys.